Hello everyone and welcome to Optimal Training Group, formerly iSharePoint All. I apologize for the time that I have been away. I had some crazy things going on at work that I didn't really get a chance to create more videos and to finish up that last segment um, for creating a dashboard. As you can see, I've already created it. And uh, I'm just going to go through today, really, is probably going to be a very quick video and explain what I did. And again, I apologize. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'm hoping to get back to creating videos much more frequently. Um, try to balance my full-time job in this. Um, but anyway, let's get started. As you can see so far... Um, in previous videos, I showed you how to create the toolbar, how to add all these links here. I talked about the grid system and how it can help you with the layout of your page. And so now I'm going to show you how I created um, these charts here. It's supposed to say a bar chart here, and then I have my simple table here in this um, in, in in this layout that I have. So to get started, let me first talk to you about um, Chart.js. So Chart.js is a chart, is a library, a JavaScript library that allows you to create different types of charts. Um, so here are some samples here, and here's the different types of charts. You have bar chart, line chart, area chart, um, you know, all kinds of charts, and they even give you have great examples of how to create them and this is matter of fact this great great documentation so let's go click on the horizontal bar now let's do something more simple let's keep it simple like a basic line chart and here you can like add data sets which is great um, so I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna view page source so you can see the how to create it so what you wanna do is um, this setup that you see here, they have, you have your data, and this is not view by the way, this is just JavaScript itself. They have the months up here, they have um, this config, this data, this object, and within an object, they define what kind of chart is going to be. So a line chart, if it was a bar chart, it would be bar here. And then they have their data portion. And in this data, it's going to hold their data sets. So here's one data set here. Here's a second data set. Um, it has the labels, the data set itself. And then that data set, this data that describes that data set. So they have my label, the background color, border color, and then they have the actual data. And then, you know, this is just random data that they're bringing in. And then the fill is false. And same thing here as well. And then outside of that object, they have another one called options, responsive. This is where you control the title, tooltips, hover, lots of different things you can do within the option. Chart.js has fantastic documentation. So I would recommend going through the documentation um, and just seeing what other options you have that you can, you can add in here. But I'm not going to use Chart.js with View because um, there is some there are some issues as far as it can be done. But when you have to pass data from your instance using a prop, and I talked about props in my, one of my other videos, when you have to pass a prop from a um, from an instance into the child it, in View, it becomes a problem for some reason. I, I, using view it's it's an issue anyway so what i did was i used i found a library called view chart js which makes it easier and all it is is just a wrapper around as you can see view chart js is a wrapper for chart js and so it allows you to easily use um use them use the components um now this documentation is kind of is set up for really single file components i had to like kind of go through and break it down and got some help from different people uh, so the way you set it up once you add the library into your file um in your component you have to tell it what you're using so extends 
and then use bar or extends and then use line chart or area chart and then you have this mounted and then you call this render chart and um, you pass it your data that has those data sets and then your options um, and then there's one more thing you have to do and I'm gonna scroll to the bottom because once you pass in all that information into your components it's gonna show up blank it's not gonna show right away and it's because the component doesn't recognize that your data is is in there um, so you have to do something so that it can it can t to trigger it to, to, to render and that took me a while to figure out um, someone had to point that out to me so what I did was so what you have to do is in your HTML where you call the line chart you have to put in like a V if loaded um, and right here they have this loaded equal to true so when it comes into this try um, after it gets the data they have this loaded um, but I did something different that I'll show you um, and that's how your chart renders now let's go to the code and let me show you how I was able to get this page you're looking at here so the first thing in my HTML make sure that you have the libraries so I have my chart library and then I have the view chart JS library that's number one number two in my in my toolbar that JS file as you can see I have this data this data is the you know that just comes by you have to add that in view that's part of view the data object and then within my data ob object I have this chart config um, which is the same as doing this I just call it something different is the same as saying data but I didn't want this co to conflict with the view data so I just call it chart config so chart config and then in my chart config I have my labels um, it's an array and that's because I'm going to populate my array with the labels and then I have my data sets and, and within my data data sets you have my data I have the background color the border color the label um, my data is blank as well it's just a, a blank a, a array which I'm going to populate. I'll show you how I did that. And then I have this options. Um, and then my options, I have everything that I need, you know, um, responsive, um, you know, the, the aspect ratio title. Um, I could have had, really, I could have had this options inside of my inside of here because as you can see now I didn't I didn't notice this until now um, let me go bring this up as you can see I have chart JS line chart line chart and the reason those are the same is because I have one s uh, single source of truth which is in here so chart JS line chart and that's what, what it's reading from so I think what I need to do is add these this option into my bar chart um, and that way and then change it to, to you know instead of line chart change the title to bar chart so let me scroll down so when I scroll down I have an ice cream array this is my dashboard data um, I went over all this before I have the methods Here's my Axios calling. Um, I'm using REST, right? So here's my list. I just want these two fields, data from those two fields, and then my Axios is calling it. I'm dumping the data into my ice cream, and I'm also passing that data to this get chart data, which is right down here, that method. And then here's where I'm populating those the the arrays. So I, I loop through my data. And I pushed the, the labels into my uh, from my list into my labels array, and I do the same thing here. Push the data into the data array, um, and that's it. So now that I have my labels filled, my data filled, and also my ice cream array filled, now I can use that data. I have access to that data from my instance. So let's go to my HTML 
Um, well, let's go to so yeah, in my HTML, I've, I have these. Let's go to component. So I have a bar chart component you see here, line chart component, and a simple table component. And as you can see, I have these props. I'm pressing in the my table data props, also line chart. I'm passing in these props, line data and chart options, and my bar chart. And as you can see in my bar chart component, I have this extends. So I have view chart js dot bar. That's the chart that I want to that I'm going to be creating. Same thing in the in the line chart, view chart js dot line. And if you're going to create other ones like area, you're going to say view chart js dot area and you know etc. Um, and I'm passing in. So let's go to how, and I've, I think I've gone over this in one of my previous videos. Props. So I have my bar dash data equal to chart config. Same thing up here. And I'm passing that into my line chart component and my bar chart component. Same thing with the options. And then down here I have uh, my table prop that I'm passing in to my single component, single simple table components. And then I have I'm calling this this dot render chart so to render it in in the mounted lifecycle, um, and so I have bar data this chart options. Now initially when I did this it was coming to blank and I couldn't figure out why, <coughs> and that's why I showed you what I showed you earlier in the video. So you have to make sure that in your HTML you have this v if um, they had something different. They're using a v if loaded. Um, because they set it to true down here, they added a false, and the async and the, you know the amount the loaded, um, and then once it got into the try, they change it to true, and then up here, you know if it's true, then render it, and so that's what I did. Um, so I'm doing a, you know if chart labels that length, you know if there's value, if it's not zero, if there's a value, then render it. And so that's what I'm doing. Instead of the, I could have used the true method they use as well, but I chose to do it this way. And once you do that, that's how you get. Um, that's how you get this. So I hope that made sense. Uh, any questions you may have, let me know. I'll also provide the code for you. I'll provide the code pen code, and um, maybe I'll provide the gist gist as well. So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to get back on track with providing more videos, content to help. And um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.